हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट पार्ट सेकंड फ्रॉम लेसन नंबर नाइन कार्बन एंड इट्स कंपाउंड्स स्टूडेंट्स पार्ट फर्स्ट वी कंप्लीटेड अबाउट द क्रिस्टल एंड फॉर्म ऑफ कार्बन सो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द डायमंड ग्राफाइट एंड टुडे द थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ द कार्बन इज द प्यूरिन दैट प्यूरिन इज द थर्ड क्रिस्टल एंड फॉर्म ऑफ दिस कार्बन दिस प्यूरिन आर रिसेंटली डिस्कवर्ड but they have found in existence in interstellar dust as well as geological formation of the earth many carbon atoms are held together in crystalline structure that common furin is called as a bunk mister furin dear students in furin carbon atoms are arranged in spherical form and this bulk mister furin that bucky ball carbon atoms containing that number are 60 and that's why it is also called as a carbon 60 depending upon the number of atoms they are larger or smaller students this furin are cluster of that carbon atoms exist as as unlinked particles now which are the properties of this, this furin the color of this furins vary according to the number of carbon atoms the second property of this furin are that they are soluble in organic solvent next one they have the specific gravity from 1.8 to 2.1 and dear students this they are chemically active than the graphite and diamond so these are the properties of the furin now which are the uses it is act as a insulator and dear students here we completed the three crystalline form of carbon graphite diamond and furin now students we are going to start the next one is the amorphous form of carbon so first one what is mean by amorphous amorphous means students the lacking of shapes or structure that form we called as a amorphous for example talcum powder wheat flour they have not the particular shape and size that geometrical shape is not fixed that's why that substances are called as a amorphous substances and in amorphous form of carbons the example are the first one is the coal then coal charcoal soot and gas carbon these are all the amorphous form of carbon so which impurities are present in this form nitrogen hydrogen oxygen and sulfur and students exception is there that sugar charcoal is the purest form of the amorphous form of carbon now students first we will explain about the coal coal occurs in nature but other amorphous form of carbon are obtained as the black residue as the black residue of the compounds rich in carbon when they are heated in the absence of air means artificially they are preparing but coal is forming naturally so first we will start about the coal coal is the cheapest fossil fuel and it is hard black and it is solid these coals are found in russia then australia united state of america germany south africa and dear students in india jharkhand madhya pradesh west bengal urissa that states they are containing this coal our next topic is the formation of this coal so that formation of the coal took the millions of the year it is not few months few years but we have to wait for the million years for the formation of the coal by naturally so coal was formed by the action of bacterial decomposition of an ancient vegetable matter and which is buried under the successive layer of this earth under high temperature 
and pressure, carbon percent is increase in every step. That's why its impurity is decrease. Now one by one we will explain about this process. The, it is a slow process that vegetable matter is decomposes and it forms the coal into the four step. And the first step is the pit. Pit is the first stage of the formation of the coal which is containing 50 to 60 percent of carbon and which is brown in color. This pit is the inferior step of the formation of coal. Lignite is the second step for the formation of the coal which is containing more than 60 percent of carbon. And this lignite is also brown in color but it is harder than the pit. Third step is the bituminous which is containing 80% to 90% of carbon. And students, this bituminous coal is also called as a household coal. It is hard also. And the fourth step for the formation of the coal is the anthracite. The anthracite is the purest form of the coal and it is the oldest stage of the formation of the coal which is containing 92 to 98 percent of the carbon. It is black in color. It is hard and dense also. For the ignition temperature it is more but one time it will start to burn. For the longer time it is burning. Formation of the coal that whole process is called as a carbonization. Uses of the coal. It is used in household purposes also and in industrial purposes also. Second use of this coal to prepare coal, coal gas and coal tar. It is used in the manufacture of synthetic petrol. It is also important requirement for the manufacture of some fertilizers, drugs, synthetic textiles and perfumes. It is used as a source of organic compounds such as benzene, naphthalene, etc. And now students, the next topic is the destructive distillation. So what is mean by destructive distillation? The process in which coal is heated in the absence of air and then its constituents are forming, that process is called as a destructive distillation. Coal powder is heated in the absence of air, so coal gas, coal tar, Ammoniacal solution, these are forming as the product. The first one, coke. Coke is the amorphous form of carbon which is derived from coal and it is a black, porous, solid substance that burns without smoke. It contains about 98% carbon which is act as a good reducing agent and a bad conductor of heat and electricity. There are two types of the coke. The first one is the hard coke and the second one is the soft coke. Hard coke is light lustrous substance. It is used in industries. And soft coke is black porous form of coke. It ignites easily. That's why it is used in household purists. The coke is used as smokeless industrial and domestic fuel. It is also used extensively as a reducing agent for the extraction of metals from their ores. Then it is used in the manufacture of water gas, producer gas and artificial graphite. It is used to prepare metallic carbides for example calcium carbide. Next one is the coal tar. Coal tar is a foul smelling dark brown liquid. On fractional distillation, it furnishes a number of useful organic compounds then that are used for making dyes, drugs and explosives. Next one is the coal gas. It is purified coal gas used as an industrial and household fuel. And ammoniacal solution is used in the preparation of artificial fertilizers. Next amorphous form of carbon is charcoal. And this charcoal when organic substance is subjected to destructive distillation, a grey porous solid is produced that is called as a charcoal. So the sources of the variety of different plants, animals are used 
for the destructive distillation process there are three types of charcoal and each type is named after the source from which this charcoal is prepared so the three main types are the wood charcoal then bone charcoal and the sugar charcoal these are the three types and first we will start with the wood charcoal this wood charcoal is prepared when wood is heated in a limited supply of air and it is black porous solid in nature wood charcoal is brittle also what is mean by brittle students which is cut into the pieces locally wood charcoal is prepared by the peeling logs of wood one above the other with a gap in the center of the pile and the pile is covered with wet clay to prevent the entry of air a few holes are left at the bottom of the pile and the wood is set on fire when fire dies out a grayish black brittle porous soil is left behind which we called as a wood charcoal to show how to prepare this wood charcoal in the laboratory so that that is we have to take some sawdust in a hard glass test tube then it fit a right angle delivery tube to it with the help of the one bore crop and dip the other end of the delivery tube in another test tube held in a trough of cold water with the help of the clamp after that we have to fix another delivery tube into the second test tube heat the sawdust strongly bring the burning matchstick near the end of the second delivery tube the gas that is liberated burns with the blue flame keeping heating the sawdust till it chars to a black mass now the second test tube contains the liquid the lower layer of the liquid is dark color which is called as a wood tar and the upper colorless layer of liquid we call as a pyroligneous acid the black residue left in the first test tube is the wood charcoal in that way students this wood charcoal is formed that activity in the laboratory we explain physical properties of the wood charcoal wood charcoal is the soft black porous solid second property it is brittle and tasteless third property though it is heavier than water this wood charcoal is heavier than water but still it floats on it because it containing the porous the next one is wood charcoal is bad conductor of heat and electricity the next one this wood charcoal is a good adsorbent of gases liquids and uh, solids also now adsorption is the capacity due to which a substance absorbs gases liquids and solids only on its surface and i am going to explain the one quality of this wood charcoal is a good adsorbent take a glass tumbler fill in a half with water and pour in few 2 to 3 drops of ink colorless water turns blue meaning that an ink solution has been formed now add a small quantity of charcoal powder in the ink solution and stir well after while you will observe that the blue color of the ink solution fades away this proves that wood charcoal absorbs ink from the ink solution that is colored matter form its solution is mean by activated charcoal the adsorption capacity of wood charcoal is increased by heating it up to 900 degrees celsius by steam because it opens up the spore and increase the capacity to hold the more substances that is called as a activated charcoal now students which are the uses of this wood charcoal the first use it is used as a fuel the second one it is good reducing agent the third use it is used to prepare the water gas then it is important constituent of the gunpowder and due to its high adsorption property it is used in military and industrial gas masks to absorb harmful gases it is used to decolorize sugar syrup and refined fats and oils and now students the next one is the sugar charcoal 
Sugar charcoal is the purest form of amorphous carbon. Why? Because it is not containing any impurity. And it is prepared by heating cane sugar or glucose in the absence of air. The chemical equation for that C12H22O11 on heating 12 carbon plus 11 H2O. This is the chemical equation. Sugar charcoal can also be prepared by the dehydration of cane sugar or glucose in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid. And this acid removes the water that living behind the carbon. So in that way students this sugar charcoal is prepared. Now which are the uses of this sugar charcoal? The first one is that it is used in mostly as a reducing agent. Second one, it is also used to decolorize color solution and it is used to prepare artificial diamonds. Then activity is there one activity for that to show the formation of charcoal. You have to take some glucose, a white crystalline solid in a watch glass. Add few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid to it. What do you observe? The white solid has turned into a black spongy mass of carbon. And this black mass is nothing but the sugar charcoal. Bone charcoal. Destructive distillation of bones produces bone charcoal along with the bone oil. And our organic compound pyridylene. This bone charcoal contains mainly calcium phosphates. The carbon content of bone charcoal is separated by treating the latter with hydrochloric acid which dissolves the calcium phosphates. Carbon is then filtered out that of the solution and in this form that is called as a bone black. Which are the uses of this bone charcoal? The bone charcoal is extensively used in decolorizing the sugar cane sugar in the process of manufacturing sugar. Then it is used in manufacture of large number of phosphorus compounds. Then ivory black it is used as a black pigment in artistic painting. It is used to filter aquarium water. It is used to remove excess of fluoride from water which causes tooth decay. Next amorphous form of carbon is the lamp black. This lamp black is also the one of the amorphous form of carbon. The oil burns with a sooty flame and that contains the large amounts of this carbon and this black smoke is collected in the form of black powder over the damp blankets kept inside the chambers. That collected powder is called as a lamp black. It is light black powder that is used in our country to prepare the eyeliner which called as a kajal also. Which are the uses of this lamp black? Lamp black is used in making black shoe polish, carbon paper, printing ink, black paint. It is also used in manufacture of tires and gun powders. For that we have to take some mustard oil or ghee in an earthen lamp or a bowl. Put a cotton wick in it, then light the wick and hold a metal plate over the flame. What do you observe? The black powder gets deposited on the surface of the plate and this is called as a kajal which is commonly used cosmetic for the eyelids.